I only got to know that it was him after a little bit of a physical altercation. Y'all would have been like, <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna need y'all to pick up this car. I'm gonna need y'all to pick up this car. Yeah. I just heard the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. And I can't believe this is the first time that I'm hearing of this, but I had to go grab y'all real quick. And I was like, no, stop, go home, pause. We gotta wait for the people. And we're gonna tell this story time together because I'm in awe. Gobsmack, my jaw is on the floor. This cannot be real. Let me give you a little bit of preface, right? A little bit of preface. So I'm in the kitchen making breakfast as I normally do. See what I'm saying? It turned out great. Gohan was down here and whatever, just chilling. We chatting it up. Bro, I can't even breathe. This is, I know this is about to be funny. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, God. Okay. We were chatting and he go, he's like just talking, right? Reminiscing, random moments in Korea, military, whatever, da, 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 da. Then he casually mentions, sorry, this is real good bacon. But he casually mentions there was that time that I almost got beat up by insert famous Korean rapper's name here. So I said, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute, bring it back, bring it back. You know what I'm saying? Do a little cha-cha side, bring it back, all the way back, rewind. What? And he goes, yeah, me, and I don't even know if we're allowed to say his name. I don't think we should say his name. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want no smoke. He was like, we both happen to be at the same club, right? He seen me and he's like, off jump. It was just like tension. I seen him me mugging me or whatever. And so I'm like, oh my God. We didn't even really exchange like a lot of words, but he was basically looking at me. He's like, I know what you did. And then apparently World War Four broke out. I don't even know if World War Three has even happened. But like, y'all, I'm about to finish getting my breakfast. But I was like, let me call the homies because we about to hear the tea together. But, and don't even for a second think that I'm excited about this. Like, I'm not happy that it like happened. But at the same time, chivalry still does exist, clearly. You know what I'm saying? It was in defense of my honor. Uh, but I need more details. I need to hear the rest of the tea. So. Let's finish breakfast. I'm gonna grab my stuff, finish my coffee. This is my little breakfast, little bagel situation. I'm gonna get my coffee finished up while I'm doing this. Y'all go ahead and grab me something to drink, something to eat too. Yum. Take me back. So this happened when I first left. It's gonna be 2022 April. You know, we were doing like three music videos each mm -hmm. type before that. I tell them want me to Chinatown. I see through closest to sharing yeah. But we, it was nothing too crazy. We weren't trying to be like, here's our debut as an artist. It's more like it's our little, you know, friendly little competition. Good vibes, good, you know, match, right? Mm -hmm. So we did tang 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 tang. Chinatown got a quite amount of views. It caught people's eyes, especially in Korea. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of like DMs from a lot of different people in the music industry, but a lot of them happens to be like stereotypical, you know, rapper F boys. Dude. Sad rapper was on Joe with the money. So that's why I was like, no right. freaking way. And that's the thing. People who I already have seen before, right? Because I'm, I'm a Korean rap fan too, so I watch Show Me the Money. So if I see you on Show Me the Money, that's not going to make me like, oh my God, I'm your friend. But like, if I see you on Show Me the Money and I like your rap or I, I got impressed by one of it, I'm going to remember you, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say it was like G2 or something or like C Jam or something, you know? Like it's not like some minor rapper. It's like he was like in, in between a minor rapper and a big rapper, like I guess in the scene. Well enough known for Yeah, me. well, well like, like I know that. So actually the DM came from that person. Like when I was in America, I DM'd back. And so we were like talking for a little bit. Oh, if we had get the chance to like, yeah, I'll be down to like work on the song type stuff. And I never really thought much of it because like just because you DM back and forth doesn't mean you're going to make a song together, right? Mm -hmm. But like if it happens, it happens. Mm -hmm. I'm in Korea. I'm there thinking like, hey, my life's a mess. Let me go to the club. Right. Crow, crow. But the thing is, regular people see him or hear him or like, they might not understand why I speak highly of his rap, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's different from somebody who makes music. For example, Devo. So I understand yeah, why. Yeah, you make like, music. You know Devo, right. right? But even just like across, like if you listen to Korean hip hop or anything like that, because I'm not even like in the scene like that or whatever. Mm. But if you listen to it, there's a 95% chance that they're going to know who it is. That's another thing. In South Korea, it's so small. And like the hip hop is not like a major thing. It's like mm -hmm. a more minor underground exactly. thing. So everybody knows each other. Exactly. Everybody. And it doesn't matter if you're... 
huge or not like everybody's connected to everybody mm -hmm. and that's also why it doesn't mean mean anything if somebody's hey i know this person everybody knows this person <laughs> who are you trying to flex on right so the first time i actually met this person was random because i was just going to the clubs and then this motherfucker was in line with his homies and then his homies was some of them were famous too when i first got to korea apparently people a lot of people knew who i was oh yeah you told me you were going to clubs they were giving you free bottles they were giving free me free bottles free shots they were like recognizing me and mm -hmm. then like it was very different for me because i never got that much attention in my life and it's it's not the fact that like i thought i deserved it or nothing it's just that like Jinin just happened to get big it's just like us right and like i wasn't famous for my music it didn't really mean anything but at the time i had like a big head on my like i thought i was all that because is, people were noticing you and you know that right way. it was it was like a weird experience for me the first time in my lifetime experience so you had he had met you before you guys had dm back and forth on yeah, social so, media so prior he saw my music i saw his music we dm'd each other but we never seen each other in person but we kind of know what we look like so then you saw him in person before the drama had happened right so you met, oh, you actually met him before the drama had happened. It wasn't like you met him, like, after the drama had happened, he seen you, and then he was like, it's on site. No, it wasn't like that. Dang, so y'all were cool for a little bit. Yeah, but, like, not, like, friendly all that, but, like, you know, cool as in, like... like in the same section. Yeah, like... We were like, popping bottles well, together when you first went back. You somebody who makes music, I'm somebody who makes music, you seem like a cool person. Y'all are in the same studio, huh? Like, that type of... Type. You know, you know, when you just go everywhere, like you don't remember exactly, but yeah, I probably wasn't like same concert, like hall, like same studio, or so, same friends, like mutual homies house, like, right, right, right. like parties, clubs, whatever. You know, it just anyways. He has his group of like producer, rapper, or whatever, like, and then they're just like in front of the club or like smoking or something. We just like at the same time recognize each other. So I, I walk over, I'm with my homie or whatever, and then we're like, oh, something, something, what you? I was like, oh, hey. Oh, it's hard, it's hard to do so. Like, you know, that fuck shit. Like. <laughs> and I saw him and I was talking with him. One thing I remember, like, distinctively. Damn, this dude, tall. He was tall? Oh, very tall. Fuck it. From, like, stuff I've seen online. Like, not like 6'5", you know? Yeah. But it's like, man, he's like 6'1", 6 foot. He's very tall. And then... Yeah, thing so is, he like, was getting daddy. Mm. No. Nah, <laughs> his, his face is super small. Mm. So, it's like, kind of, you know how when you see K-pop idols... So he's like handsome? No, no. So, the face, face is small. It doesn't mean it's handsome, though. He's not ugly. That's like the Korean beauty standard, though. Yeah, but, okay, how do I... Explain this. What if your face is super small and that fits the standard, but like the inside of the face isn't? <laughs> <laughs> it's like bland or some shit, you know? He looks bland. Okay. All right. I'll stop interrupting. <laughs> and then whatever happens between us, people on the streets start and they recognize me. They start talking shit about me. Me going through that, my first reaction isn't to be like, oh, I gotta get back into my little shell, my little bubble, retract, kind of like lose confidence, and, and then admit to the world that like I did something wrong. My initial response is to pretend nothing's wrong or like push through something wrong and then claim it's right. You no, know, be, be <laughs> fly. I hate fly. Be <laughs> defensive or like be very like rebellious or like crooked. Mm. That's my response. Right, you stand ten toes down. That's what happens when somebody is caught in like a bad situation. Correct. Either you gotta come forward, take accountability, apologize, and like stuff like that, or y'all, you gotta stand ten toes down in your. <laughs> I keep going to the club. Actually, I go to the club even more after everything. Okay, so just to preface, you had you never talked about me at that point in time or whatever. He wasn't like, how's the wife and kids, whatever, da, 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 like none of that. It was literally just solely about like, it was just a quick exchange. Maybe talked about your music, was in the same social groups for like a little bit, but never had mentioned me or anything like that. You have to understand, keep in mind that what he sees is I have this memory of saying hi with this dude and he makes music. I liked it. He knows my music too. And the next thing he sees is um, a Korean YouTuber like accused of the, 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 the and then uh, seemingly would claim that he did something to his family or wife. The, 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 and then like all these stuff. Um, that's the next thing he sees, right? He would have to have known about Jin and Juice prior to that. Like some people like him usually have some ego and pretend like they don't know even if they do. But like, I don't know. He like, probably knew because nobody's going to hit you with that. I know what you did. Let's say you met Rihanna, right? You could be like, oh my god, that's Rihanna. You could be like, hello, 
and shake hands with her mm. and then never talk about the fact that you know her i act like she's like a regular person that you know for 10 years basically mm. both is fine right whatever two different just actions but like he the, he the type to be like jerk michael jackson's in front of me he'll act like he never heard of michael jackson type Mm. Like nonchalant. I don't know if he knew Jin and just or not. Like, it wouldn't be weird if he did. What got me confused as heck is I went to a club. I was just there with my friend from the very far corner. Somebody staring at me, like mean mugging me. Jeroba. Oh, mean mugging me, like, like some scary stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just like I'm doing my thing. That person doesn't let go of like that eye lock. <laughs> I just look at him more and more. Like, what is going on? Right? Who he? Right, we got it. We got it. And who is you type? And then one thing I remember is that this person stands up. He's like the same height as me. So he can't be that rapper, right? Because he was six foot. Are you claiming right now that that rapper was wearing gai chung? Gai chung chung do ganya. It was this. There's no way it's just Kaichang. I I I I did Kaichang before. Mm -hmm. I know what it feels like. I know how tall it can get you. Once you go over a certain point, it starts feeling uncomfortable when you fall. You fall while walking. Mm -hmm. That's like gonna be like three inches plus. You can't do that. Okay, so he had some heels on. What I'm height. talking is like he's maybe like one or two centimeters taller than me. Like okay. That that time that mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. The last time I like shook hands with him and everything, he was like six one six foot. Yeah. Which means. He gotta have at least like four to four, four to five inches on him. How do you do that, right? Like three inches of guy chunk plus two inches from your Nike Air Max or like your Timberland or something. That makes sense, maybe like four or five inches. But like at that point, you're really conscious of your height and you're like, you went all out. No, I know because you got me with the guy chunk too. When I first met you, yeah. you were 5'11". 5'11", yeah. Because I had a Timberland with like two inches in there. So it's like three and a half inches, which mm -hmm. is like gonna make me like 5'10", 5'11", right? I don't do it nowadays. Five, six on a good day. Five, eight. You're just like, I'm I am, I am. Just telling the truth, bro. It's not your fault you're a short king. It's okay. <laughs> short king. It's, it almost okay. feels like that word is designed to make me mad or that I'm just... Okay, okay. You can just Relax. say short, I'm fine with that. Short king. <laughs> are you laughing or are you crying? He doesn't even know. <laughs> it's just if it was like two or three inches difference right i would be like no there, there's a very high possibility they could be the same person mm. but it was like four, five inches mm. so i was sh i was trying to think in my head like match his face like right. okay now the key factor is the face right because you're like the face matches but the height doesn't match okay i get it yeah but like it's not like I remember it clearly. Like at that time of period of my life, I was in denial of everything. So like everything, really every memory is hazy to mm -hmm. me. Like, I'm not really paying too much attention to people's names and faces and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I got my own life that's basically going to hell that I'm not. I'm trying not to look at. Mm -hmm. And probably so. When there's one distinctive thing about your face, right? Mm -hmm. Strong eyebrows or mm -hmm. like a specific nose shape or like really small eyes or really big eyes. Mm -hmm. The like skin tone is very dark, something. Right. Then I'll remember you. Or a certain combination. Mm -hmm. The problem with this dude's face, I'm not roasting him, is that his eyes is super small, his nose is super bland, his mouth is super thin, his face is super small, but like his face. Okay, is... what happens when I'm not roasting him? I'm Damn. Not roasting him. Relax. <laughs> you know, sometimes, even when individual parts are bland, the combination can look very balanced. Even if individual parts are very unique, the combination can look bland. His eyes are bland, nose is bland, mouth is bland, his skin is bland, his skin tone is bland, his face is small, but that's all, that's all about it, that's it. And then the combination itself is very also bland. Happy. Bro, I swear to God, people will be like, oh my God, yeah, niggas don't talk shit, whatever. Da, da, da. It's like, it's men who be talking the most shit. Did you, did you nah, just say that? it looks like Sivan drew him on the paper. Like, <laughs> it's like, I only gave Sivan... Seven seconds to draw it. Like I'm not. I'm not like Savon. Take your time. Draw a handsome man. I'm like Savon. Draw a draw a person, a man. Yes, no woman. Man. Seven seconds. Go. Oh man, man, man. Oh man. You keep looking at me like that, and then I'm like, I'm trying to remember. Is it him or is it a rando that just doesn't like me? That's me bugging me. He stands up, so I see his height. There's more of a confusion now. Cause like he looks kind of similar but it's too bland but he's like too short and then he does this to me so i'm like regardless of who you are or how long you knew me or like if it's the first time you meet me or that's it's not okay for you to do that to somebody you don't know it's like almost like 
You can't you can't say nothing to nobody for trying to fight you if you start this. You get what I'm saying? Like if somebody you don't know, like a complete stranger came up to you did this, is that isn't that like a war cry? Let's if somebody go. like flick me off. After just... looking at you for like 20 minutes like this, like that. I would just take it on the chin. Like what the hell? Guys are I'm, different. I'm, I'm we we pushing. you know guys are stupid sometimes. They just go like because <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm. Sometimes it's just like, like something the battle of testosterone at this point. Yeah, it's 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 almost like if I don't stand up right now and go like let my inner beast let loose, I'm a poo. It's like oh, that. Like, oh, okay. Um, and sometimes the nerdiest nerds will even do that. So like that that says a lot about guys like snapping sometimes. Good, it's just for me, right? And then I I just walked over to him and kind of went closer, and he was just like, Poof. and then he it's, it was obvious he was on like. Drinking or on drugs or crossfader or like something. I'm drunk too, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do whatever is impulsive. He's up. I'm standing up. We're getting closer, and then he he's he stay here doing this shit. <laughs> I'm just like whoa. I only got to know that it was him after a little bit of a physical altercation. So I wanted to dance though. Okay. So I got close to him, and then like there there were a group of people I just befriended. Mm. There were like a group of young black gentlemen and young black ladies <laughs> in a club. Okay. Why? <laughs> it's like, all right. I didn't know until later, but he also knew them or something. I don't know if they're young. The guys probably were older, but... Mm. And then they were just not thinking we were going to fight. They were like... Some of them were sitting in the bar. Some of them were getting free tequila shots from the bartender. Some of them were just dancing on the floor. And then some of them were just sitting down chilling. But like, they're not really paying attention to me and him. What's going on over here? So he's doing this to me. We're both drunk. So... So I, I just start to dance, a little pump music comes out. Ooh, so, you know, I, I, I dance, like I, I do this back and then he's just like, right? Mm. Like, how dare you do that to me even though I mean you for 20 minutes and then was doing this to you. How dare you do the same thing to me mm. when you're the one in the wrong in my head type. Mm. And then and I, I don't know what I did with my fingers. I probably was like, like uh, some shit, like, like to him, like in order to provoke him. Just do some sort of jutsu, nigga. Probably to my, <laughs> Okay, alright. You were covering, covering, was it? Oh, once you covered, you got to cover it. Oh, oh, oh. So, he got hot. So, you see the vein. He got hot. So, oh, ah, wait, it was good. Let's go. He get closer to me, and then he shoves me, and I don't see it coming. That's the thing about sucker punches or like first moves is that when you don't see it coming, you just oh, 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 really so. And I got back up. And then that's why, that's how you know black people always got your back. They, they could be doing something completely different, mm. but they know how to read a room. Mm. So like it doesn't take them more than two seconds for them to like jump in the scene. Mm -hmm. And then they're confused. Who to help? Because mm. they're like they be friend, we friend and they friends, and then they it's... just here for themselves. Actually, yeah. like they're here to have a good time in the party or whatever, like a club. And then it's just like two random Asian dudes in their own respective country doing their like fight thing. Yeah, I don't think it's like they were confused on who to help. I think it was more so like, like how do we defuse the situation? Yeah, um, that's, that's why I said gentlemen. They were probably just trying to figure out like who yeah. how to de-escalate the situation. It's definitely de-escalate. Yeah. Here and one homie over here. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like yeah. that. So like there was like. Two people like dragging me here, two people dragging me there. And, like the other dude, uh, the other way. The other dude, yeah, the mm -hmm. other way. And then they're like taking him to the corner, talking to him. And, like, you know, when you talk to somebody mad and try to calm them down, mm -hmm. instead of being like, yeah, what happened? He's like, yeah, I know, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and then he's just like, mm -hmm, just right. Bang popping out his head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I mean, maybe I'm too Americanized. Like, what's going on, man? Like, what happened? Like, what are you good? I'll be there and wait on. And then I'm just sitting there like in America. I'm just like, I don't fucking know. Like, it's some mess, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that. so obnoxious. And the people are looking at our reactions and laughing at me because, like, he's a stereotypical K rage. Like, I'm just here, like, maybe you were too drunk. Possibly. You were too drunk. The Gohan I know. Would have lost his mind. I was provoking from a distance, if you know what I mean. Yeah, being annoying. <laughs> yeah, but I was looking at him when I'm doing the, like, like yeah. That. If I dare assume, right, at this point of time, why he was like so angry at me, I think he was a Jin and Juice like viewer, subscriber. Like, I think he liked you as a person. Like, maybe who knows? Like, he was like doing this little thing in his little apartment, being like, "Oh, didn't you see?" Oh, like, you know, like, what the kiss? <laughs> 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 I 
이거 쓰레기 말좀 새끼 저기 이거 되고 새끼 투명 있는 새끼 Of course, you don't know. Like I, that was probably it because yeah, that's probably it. He was like he's literally like shoving me. Like he's like, oh, he's going to push away. Yeah, I don't care. So he was he was saying that shit. So I I I don't hundred percent recall that in day he said that. So it can't not be something personal. He didn't have the luxury or time to sit down and tell me about why he did it. But like mm -hmm. I know from like, like he was just screaming at you like oh, tell me name. What what kind of so do they say? No, because like. Nobody died. Nobody got hurt. It was just like it was like a friendly show. He just rocked you, yeah. Mm -hmm. There was no like blow. Y'all didn't like. I'm I'm a small Asian boy. Like I want to call myself a man. I don't even feel masculine enough to say that, because like, think about it in your perspective. If you're uh, walking outside with me, um, what means do I have to protect you in, from a potentially violent situation? Right? Can you imagine me, a skinny five eight guy, just doing five, something? Five eight is generous. So I enrolled in a boxing lessons. Like in the military? No, um, right, right after. Okay. I, after right after I got out of the military, I did a little bit, and then I only know very very basic. I doesn't mean I know how to fight, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how that's how I know we were both puss at that time. If we had to, if if the if the young black gentleman didn't stop us, like body block us, we it would have been uh, some nerd stupid fight because like y'all would have been like. <laughs> Something like that. Like the first thing they teach you is like posture, like that, and then like steps. But like they teach you, hey, instead of do this and then this and then reaching really far, connect it, and then like just twist your body instead of stepping forward. There's like stuff. Then you see what's wrong with like previous fighting patterns. When two skinny boys are fighting, have you seen those videos on YouTube where like two nerds are fighting when they have big glasses on like that and it's like eh, eh, eh. one goes on the floor and they're like. <laughs> 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 that would have happened between us because he he was like that. You never see this. You see this from boxing. You never see this. He was drunk also. Right, but even if you're drunk, if you know how to fight, you'll be like, oh, right? Like a drunk and be like, Yeah, you'll be like, I'm gonna do some Chinese drunken martial arts. I didn't know how to fight either. I wouldn't just do this, but like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just like like trying to pretend my body's bigger than it is. Just like, what you want? What you trying to do? Huh. I wouldn't want you to get like actually like beat up. There was somebody in that club the same day that were way more famous than me or him. There's this dude called Yang Hong Won. He was in the club? <laughs> he's, he's, he's known. No, you're joking. No, he's known for going to home the clubs a lot. He's a grandpa. Him? I just yeah. That was like a little bit. Oh Yang Hong Won. I thought you were talking about the Yang Dong Gun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> I mean, if Yang Dong Gun was there, I think people would like it. I feel like at the end of the day, if you get beat up by another man, it's your fault for not being stronger. That's how it kind of works in my head. Because mm. if I got my shit rocked, it's my fault. Mm. I should have worked out more. <laughs> I should have learned fighting more. You also weren't expecting or, or, it. Or, or, or behave or conduct my, you know, lifestyle in a way that doesn't attract, like... <laughs> that make well, either want way. to beat you up mm, yeah either way because the the worst thing you can do is like say it's okay to just be vulnerable and do nothing and do nothing to change yeah you know it's so funny because i feel like you've told me other stories right because people coming up to you and being like go on i don't know what you did you're people did, whatever da, 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 da. Mm. that wasn't uncommon i've heard those stories like mm. a lot that, that like, happened to me daily oh like, like um now if i walk People either not know who I am, or like even if they do, they won't talk to me. Or like, like what? No, 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 it's so funny because my experience was a completely one eighty. I'd be walking around and people would be like, "Sam, I yeah, know you." Yeah, like you were basically like a celebrity there. Yeah, they were like, "Girl, if you come to my club, I'll get you a free bottle." I said, "Say less." I was always in there trying to have a good time, whatever fun stuff. People would stop me on the street. I would like pay for people's dinner. I was like, "Let me take you out," like you know, type stuff. Like. I just really love people and I love our Jinjus from all over the world. There was literally one time I was out. We were gonna send you that care package or whatever and you wanted me to go get something for you at one of the stores. And I found one of the stores that sold like American stuff. So mm -hmm. I went and go about it like to get it for you. The girl at the shop was a black girl, right? Huh? It's Korean, Italian. Yeah, okay, dude, Italian, Italian. insane. Anyways, so I was there. It was a black girl who was running the shop or whatever. She's, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sis. You know, so isn't it awkward? Like, isn't it funny when somebody just like, like if they know you, they know you, right? If they're like, wow, Serumi da. Yeah. Then they, you know, you know, they know you. Yeah. If they're like, you don't know if they know you. If they, you don't know if they know you. If they're like, 
Yeah, like, oh yeah, you you do it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I know you. <laughs> One time where I was uh, chilling kind of near like Savon's school because your mom was doing like parent-teacher conferences or stuff like that or whatever. So I was kind of waiting for them to be done after Savon got out of uh, each one or what is it? Oriented. Oriented. I see this lady. She walks past me, right? Makes eye contact. I smile. It doesn't matter where I'm at. Like if I see somebody, we make eye contact. I'm smiling at you. Maybe it's the Idaho thing. It's the Idaho in me, the little country in me. But like, you know, just shoot them a little smile. The other day we were at Walmart and there was a lady, four kids. She didn't even like pause, no break, like no nothing. She had just walked out of one of the aisles or whatever. She seen me, she said, I know you. I watch you on YouTube. I said, hey girl. <laughs> that's, I what, like, that's, that's, one, so crazy. That's, that's one trait I admire about you. We're like the complete opposite when it comes to the same situation. When somebody recognizes you or me, you're like, you're friendly. You're like welcoming. You're like, you make them feel comfortable even. Yeah. You know? Me, when somebody says they know me, I either pretend I didn't hear it or like just act very nonchalant, which which is because I don't care. I'm worrying about something else, or because or or I I break down. This is a new trait I got. Damn. But, but like it's like and anyway, it's not very welcoming. If I'm in a good mood, I'm just like yeah hey yeah that's right nice to meet you. Oh good good I'm not so like funny. hey you know what I will tell you something. I'm like hey fam let's like I literally I'm gonna try to be more like you but like not like happy more like i'm gonna try to make other people feel comfortable yeah because like, I'm, I'm not special but there's this one thing i found out about america what when i'm walking like taking my daily walks and i come across so like, this is the equation if yellow straight if white down black up what does that mean if i'm walking if i see a black person and that person's alone and we're walking we see each other he's gonna go up that if it's a white person, he's gonna go down. <laughs> What's it? Like almost like yes, agree. It's like mm -hmm. that little. And then Asian people even then usually I think I don't know why usually come through the upper straight pretend we didn't see each other. That's kind of funny. But we're both like aware that like we're pretending we didn't see each other, so it's kind of awkward because we're just like walking past knowing that he that person knows. Uh, it's weird. Thanks for watching today's video. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. But also, tune in next week for more videos. Bye. Bye.